What's up guys, Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. Today, I got the WJ back in and I'm excited for this one because we're gonna be putting on HK Off-Road's hidden winch mount and a super winch, I believe it's the SXR 10,000 and it's the SX series synthetic rope 10,000 pound winch. So let's get into it. So the first thing <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing on the Jeep is tearing down the front end. We need to get back into here. There is a little cross member that we're gonna be cutting out in between the frame rails. And first thing we need to do is get the bumper fascia off, grill and the headlight uh, supports. So let me get all this kind of torn down. To show you guys kind of what we're gonna be pulling is there's some plastic clips right here and here. There's a bolt right up in here on the grill. There's a couple bolts on top and a couple screws. The grill pulls off and then for the headlight surrounds, once when I get the fascia and grill off, we'll get into that. So got the front bumper fascia off, sitting over there right now. Um, essentially, it was a couple seven millimeters for the grill, a couple Allens. You got a 10 mil there, two clips, a 10 mil there, two clips, and then there were three plastic clips. And also to keep my bumper from hanging down, I added two 10 millimeter bolts when I cut it for the fog lights and the wheels and tires. Our next project is we are going to be pulling the headlights out of this thing, followed up by the headlight support stuff right here. Um, that's all gotta come out because we need access to cut this out of the Jeep. So the front end's off. One thing I did find out on my Jeep was I lost HVAC. I just figured I'd explain this to you while we were here. So basically the door that controls what vent it comes out wasn't working and that's vacuum actuated. I had always heard a vacuum leak in this corner and what it ended up being was this hose right here on my cruise control module. That vacuum leak caused the T connector, which is back up in here to lose vacuum to the HVAC system. So once when I got that all sorted out, basically those, that door started working again. So if you guys ever run into that issue and you're finding your connector here and then where it goes into the side of the manifold over there is good, make sure you check this uh, right there. That's the cruise control actuator module, whatever. But we got the whole front taken off. There is an electrical connector here. This one that's on a sensor on the front and then here. Um, these two are for the headlights. You'll need to pull those to get that piece off. Once when that piece is off, we took this off basically. This is the hood latch support. They send new ones with the kit. And then there is a bracket right here, which I pulled off as well. I'm gonna pause right here. I got another appointment coming in, but just like, and we're back. Got my appointment done, back to the old Jeep. So my next thing I'm gonna be doing is cutting the cross member uh, right at this frame rail there and there. This is all gonna get removed. Then we're gonna grind, grind it flush. And then there's an area underneath we need to grind as well. So I'm gonna get moving on that.
got everything all trimmed up and painted. It's looking good, pretty happy with everything. So the next step is to lift the plate that's sitting right there up into position and we'll get it, start getting it bolted. Um, now we are gonna have to drill two holes, but right here and here, you use the hitch mount as a guide. Um, I did go ahead and spray, have this sprayed with bed liner to match the bumper that's over there. So it all looks real nice and clean. Get it up there, get it on and drill some holes. So we got it all mounted. Uh, the two holes you drill are this bolt and this bolt. Now what I found out worked best for me was to actually drill a pilot hole, get it out to almost three eighths. I couldn't find my three eighths drill bit um, and my set didn't show up today. So just doing what I have. And then I took a step bit on this long extension and I was actually able to feed it through the frame rail to those holes and get them big enough to where the bolt just barely fit through and was still able to spin. So I'm gonna get the winch thrown on and get the wires run. I'm sure we'll follow, come up through here and up to the battery. Uh, it looks actually really simple to do all this because basically the front end of the car is off. So we'll get the super winch thrown in there. Make sure everything's hunky-dory, get it all bolted down, wired up, fairly on, all that stuff. And then we're getting back to reassembling and cutting the front bumper fascia. I got the headlight bezel fit back on. Now it took quite a bit of trimming. This is a pretty damn large winch. But the nice thing is, is I might be able to get the handle on the outside of the bumper just by drilling like a one inch hole. We'll see how that all goes. Essentially, if you can relocate this, I'm choosing not to just because I want to. There are other winches that'll fit in here better, but Super Winch hooked me up with that winch. So we're gonna install it and see what we think of it and run it through its paces and whatnot. My next phase is I'm probably gonna get the fascia, that all trimmed up. I gotta remove my uh, wonderful four wheel parts license plate. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna keep knocking away a little bit at a time. Got it kind of fitted up. Now there are a few things that I wish I would have done a little bit differently. I wish I would have left this a little further back. And also in the instructions, they tell you to cut up kind of high over here. It does say it's an approximate. I did remove just a little bit too much material there. So I'll figure something out for those, but all in all, I like the fit. And what I did here is I tucked the bumper behind, but as you can tell, this is a pretty darn big winch. So we'll see if we can't get it knocked out and get it finished up. I gotta trim the grill, get the headlights back in and then just do final fit and finish stuff and we should be good to go. Here's the winch plate and winch all installed. There's a lot more trimming than I thought it was gonna be because that is a really big winch to fit in this bumper, but I think it turned out killer. Really like the way everything works. This, I really like on the super winch. You can just pull that up and twist it to the side and then you're able to free spool the winch. Unlike most where you have to turn the handle 90 degrees. So I really, really like that design. Um, one thing to do keep in mind when you do use the winch is after you reset the free spool uh, back to where it'll grab, you do wanna give the winch line a little bit of a tug so it locks in place. But yeah, this thing turned out killer. I'm very happy with it. Um, we were actually out there, or out at my buddy's property, hanging out, doing some fishing, doing some trails, and the trail leading down to the pond there was actually a tree down so i'll see if i can't get that footage from him of me hooking the winch up and pulling the tree my friend did have his doubts that this setup was going to be able to pull it he thought the jeep was going to pull towards the tree but we got the tree off the trail and we were able to do it but yeah this thing turned out killer i really liked the way i was able to tuck the bumper fascia up behind the winch plate and then one thing i did just because I think it looks a little bit better as I took some fender flare trim and I actually trimmed the bumper out where I had cut and it just, it finishes it off nicely. So little touches like that can make all the difference in the world. But that's it when it comes to the install of this thing. I know it was kind of fast and quick and kind of a dirty video, but it does give you guys an idea on how the winch plate installs and all that. Um, if you do have questions on the trimming, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. But like always guys, I'll catch you on the next one. I guess it's a good test, huh? Yeah. 
think he underestimates how much a tree weighs. I bet his Jeep just gets pulled straight forward. Well, then you'd be doing it one limb at a time. I will be absolutely goddamned. <laughs> no.